Hi, and welcome back. Right now, what we're going to do is go over EDM lesson 2.2, which was on exponents and powers of 10. And if you see the screen in front of you, what you can see is a raised small number. And this is actually called the exponent of the number. And the big number that comes before the exponent, it is actually called the base of our number. The exponent has a job. It tells us how many times the base is multiplied. And when the base is 10, the number is called a power of 10. So let's go ahead and let's examine what exactly that means. So let's say I have an apple and let's take the apple to the power of three. The three is the exponent and the exponent tells us how many of the base that we need. So if I have apple to the power of three, that means I need one, two, three apples. And of course, because this is math, what we're gonna do is we actually are going to end up multiplying those apples together. So we would put our multiplication sign in there. Now, obviously we can't work this out and what is apple times apple times apple. But the point in here is saying that the three, the exponent, is basically telling us how many of this base that we need and we would take this and multiply them together. We can look at this again in a different example. So let's take teddy bears. If we have teddy bears to the power of four, what does that tell us? Well, the exponent tells us how many of the base that we need to multiply it together. So if I have bear to the power of four, that means I need bear times bear times bear times bear. Now, of course, I would multiply then these bears together to get our answer. So let's look at that with a power of 10. So I know we're not using pictures anymore, but if you think about it, it's the same idea. So the exponent is telling us how many of the base that we need. So here in this particular situation, we need five tens multiplied together. So I would need 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Five tens multiplied together. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we can actually take this one step further and write this in standard form. Now, I guess you can say the trick to writing this in standard form is put a one, and then the exponent tells us how many zeros we need. So we need one, two, three, four, five zeros. So then after I have my number here, I can put my comma in and I can see that this would equal 100,000. Let's look at another example. So if I have 10 to the power of seven, or seven, 10 to the seventh power, once again, this is a power of 10. And the seven tells us how many tens we need. So if I'm looking at that, I need 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one more times 10. So if I'm looking at this, I need seven tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven tens multiplied together. Now, if we were going to write this in standard form, do you remember what the trick is? Yep, we put the one, and then how many zeros would we need? Well, the exponent tells us that we need seven zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After I put my zeros in is when I want to add in my commas. So three spaces over from the back. And if I plug those in, I can easily see that my answer is 10 million. So let's go ahead and look at this situation. In this situation, what I have are my products of 10. So what I want to know is what would this be, what would this look like in exponential notation? So my base, the number that I'm working with is a 10. So I would have 10. And if I wanted to write down how many tens I needed, I would just count to see how many I have here. I have four tens being multiplied together. So my exponent 
would be a four. So 10 to the power of four would be the same as this. And of course, for fun, let's go ahead and write that answer in standard form. I put down my one, and one, two, three, four zeros. After I'm done putting my zeros in, I'm gonna go back and put in my comma, so I know my answer is 10,000. We're gonna give this another go. Look at this one. What do you think the answer to this one is before I say anything? Yeah, so if you're looking at that, our base would be 10. And how many tens did you count? I counted six. So this would be 10 to the power of six. And once again, in standard form, I have a one and one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. So if I go through, I'm gonna put my commas in where they belong and 10 to the power of six will give us a total of one billion. Now this looks a little bit different. Oops, probably shouldn't have moved that. So this looks a little different here um, just because we have another number added into there. But we can also write this as powers of 10, but what we have is just an additional number. So I'm gonna put in that three because the three counts. And I'm multiplying that three by how many tens? Well, I'm going to need four of them. So I would have three times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So I can still write this as powers of 10, it's just that I have the three. Now, if I wanted to write this in standard form, what I normally do is I look at this as three times one, well, that would be three, oops, three. And how many zeros would I need? I would still need four zeros, one, two, three, four. And then once again, we're gonna put our comma in at the end. So our answer would be 30,000. If you look at another example here, we have two times 10 to the fifth power. So writing it again as powers of 10, we have two times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10, uh, times 10. Make sure we have enough in there. And yeah, we do have, oops, we don't want to separate it there. Okay. So if we look at that, we have one, two, three, four, five listed in here. And if we were going to solve this one, two times one would be two. And how many zeros? Five. One, two, three, four, five. And then put our comma in at the very end, 200,000. So as you can see, it's not so bad. You just kind of pay attention to that exponent and the powers of 10 and to be able to put that together. So you can see here in the table, we have an example already done with us. 10 to the power of six, this is written in exponential notation. Products of 10, because it's 10 to the power of six, I would need six tens multiplied together. Standard notation would be one million because I would have a one and six zeros. So if we went about and did another one here, let's say I did 10 and ended up putting that to the power of three. So let's go ahead and we're just gonna move that in here. And you know, it's a little bit bigger than the chart, but let's go ahead and let's do this. So how many tens would I have to multiply in here? I would have to multiply 10 times 10 times 10. And if we put that in, I'd also have to write that in standard notation. So we would put a one and one, two, three zeros because we have a power of three. So I'm hoping that you can see the pattern here as to how we can take a number 10 with an exponent, which would basically be um, powers of 10 because the three is a power of 10. And we can write that as products of 10, but we can also write that in standard notation. Once again, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.